Hey, it's Jim with another GIMP tutorial. And today I want to take a look at one of the most useful tools throughout the GIMP system. And that's the paths tool. It looks like this on your left hand panel. Now this tool is especially interesting because you can draw all sorts of irregular shapes with it. And then you can change those shapes over time by moving a series of nodes. So let's just hop right into it and show what this looks like. I'm going to create a new canvas and add that to my screen. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And now with my paths tool selected, I can start drawing these individual nodes. So if I click, a little node is added. And then if I click again, another node is added and there's a connection between these two nodes. So now I could kind of draw around any sort of shape that's interesting to me like that. There's a lot you can do with these nodes though. For instance, I can come back and I can click any of these previous nodes and I can actually click and move these two new locations. So say I wanted these to point up instead, I could just come back and I could change those. And not only do we have the option to draw straight lines, we can draw these bent lines in between. So you can extend these little arms beyond a node to actually change the curve of a line. So the way you can get those to appear, so if you're on an individual, individual node, if you press control down and then you click, you can extend the little arm there, which allows you to add the curve to the line. So I'm, again, I'm going to come to the same node. I'm going to press control and extend the other way. So you get two arms per node and they basically represent the line coming in and the line going out. So this line here can be manipulated with this little arm and this line here can be manipulated with this arm. Now, if you wanted to delete one of these arms, so say for instance, I drew both these lines, but I really don't want this to have a curved line between these two nodes. I want it to be exactly straight. The way you can do that is hold down control and shift at the same time. And then you see it says, I can't click anything right now. If I'm clicking, it's not gonna do anything. But if I hover over that little node, I get that tiny little minus sign. And if I click that, it'll delete that node. Now this one has arms as well. So I had to have to delete this one to get that exact straight line going again. But you can see how you can update the, the curvature with those little nodes. Another interesting thing, so let me draw this arm back in. Again, I'm gonna control. You see my, my cursor changes a little bit when I do that. I'm gonna extend this arm, and you can see that we have this kind of almost 90 degree angle to this. So if I wanted this these arms to have a straight line through the node, I could actually come to one of these endpoints, and I could hold shift, and I could click, and then move it, and it'll make this into a straight line. Uh, and that's really helpful for getting those smooth curves, like something like this, for instance, because if you were to uh, actually unclick onto like a different tool, let's uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to uh, enable my path. So actually we have a, a paths panel over here on the right hand side and I can enable this eye to be able to see where that path is. And if I were to click another tool, you can see you get a nice, perfectly curved line there and you can't even see where that node was. So let me go back to my pass tool and just, I'm gonna click back on that line so I can get our nodes visible again. Now, if these lines, for instance, if we didn't have a straight arm there and I were to off click that, you can tell very clearly where that node was. You can see the breakpoint in the line. So that's why it's really helpful to be able to do those straight lines. Again, so once your, your path is enabled from your paths panel, and if you don't have this open on your screen, you can actually come up to your Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then click Paths, and that would open it in your right-hand side. So if you have uh, your path, again, uh, visible, so click the little eyeball here, and you go back to your, your Paths tool, you can always just click it to get the nodes available again so you can manipulate that underlying path. So zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take the eyeball off. I don't need that since my Path tool is enabled with all those nodes. Then we can continue drawing. So if I were to click a new node here, you can see that it didn't connect because I didn't have my last unfinished node highlighted. I had one of the nodes in the middle, so it thinks that we're trying to create a new path here. If you want to delete that, you click backspace and just click on your last node. And then if you click somewhere, it's going to continue drawing those new nodes. Now, if you were to click somewhere while holding shift, it creates a new node as well. So see all these new nodes. So even though we had this last node, which would typically create a new node if I press uh, click without holding anything, let me just backspace to delete that. If I hold shift, 
it creates a new segment even though that last one is selected. So that, being, that can be kind of helpful if you want to uh, start a new segment even though that last one's selected. And then another thing you can do is if you have this last node selected and you click and you hold and then you pull, you can create those arms automatically. So uh, again, so I'm gonna click and hold and then I can you know just kind of draw the curve however I want without having to go back and add those arms in manually myself afterwards. So let's see here, I'm gonna go back to this previous node. I'm gonna actually just hold it and just move it a little bit. So if you go to a previous node and you just click, you can hold and move it. And I just wanna change the shape a little bit here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually come in, oops, I'm gonna delete some of these older individual nodes that are just kind of floating out here in space. We don't really need those at all anymore. So delete those and then I'm going to click my unfinished node here one last time and when it comes time to actually complete the the circle here you can hover over this last node here and if you hold control it'll give you this little completion icon so if I were to try to complete to like one of these other ones you see that it doesn't actually give me that those two circles that are kind of interlocking like a, a Venn diagram but if I come to another open node like these two are both open we can complete it by just holding control and clicking here. And now we have kind of a complete uh, shape here. And from this, we can do a lot of different things. So for instance, we could, we could stroke the path. So this would basically take your foreground color and it would just draw a line along your path. So let's do that real quick. A little dialog pops up and it's, you know, you can change the width of the line. We'll leave it at six pixels for now. I'll draw a kind of thin line. And you can change like the, the paintbrush that you're using and a lot of different things like that. So let's just stroke it with the default paintbrush. Okay, so and I'm gonna move off of the path tool to any other tool, I'll just use the move tool for now. And you can see that it, it drew a nice line there um, that's, that's drawn onto our standard background layer here. Um, so I'm just gonna undo that real quick. And I'm gonna move back to our paths. I'm gonna enable that and then I'm just gonna click on it again so I can I can get those nodes back. I'm gonna get off the, get off the uh, I'm gonna, turn off the eye on the path and then this time I'm going to do a selection from path and you can see that adds our select line here and from there we could actually come and we could use something like the fill tool and we could just fill inside that path and I'll press control a to stop the selection and you can draw different shapes that way um, just keep in mind that now that this is drawn even though you have your path so we could enable our path again and we could enable those nodes let me use my path tool again I'll just click on the line those nodes are independent of the actual drawing that we did because we just filled that to a background. So um, you could do that for some cool effects though. Like for instance, say you want to move some of these nodes just off a little bit like this. And let's see, maybe this one. Um, you could come in here now and well, the challenge is going to be we have this to a new layer. So um, <laughs> let's see here. Let me see if I can do this real quick. I'll add a new layer here, say OK, and then I'm going to make my blue a little bit darker, and then I'm going to do a selection from path, and I'm going to paste that on this new layer. It's going to cover it up, so um, you can see those are, are covering each other, but if I were to go back to this first one, and this is going to be a different tool, so let me just get off my path real quick. I'm just going to do a select by color, and then I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste it to a new layer. So it's a floating selection right now, put it to a new layer. And now what that allows us to do is I can move this layer to the top so it appears on top of the other layer. And, oops, gotta actually move it. And, oh, and then enable the lower layer. And you can kind of do um, different like shapes like that. That looks a little bad because it's a little choppy the, the way I cut and pasted that. But you know, you could do different like shading around a shape like that by, by manipulating a path after you've drawn a path on there. Well, hopefully that's a, an okay intro and it helps you out getting started with the path tool. It's a really useful tool and I'm sure you'll pick up a lot of new tricks uh, very quickly as you start using it. Um, and then, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment on the video if you have any new tricks that you want to help other people out with. All right, thanks for watching and we'll be in touch soon. Bye.